Hello and welcome to Movie Phone. For Jackass number two, press one. For Mr. Holland's anus, press two. For guess who's c***ing on dinner, press three. For the c***s of Red October, press four. For how gay we were, press five. For Napoleon Bonaparte, press six. Welcome to Movie Phone. <laughs> For shitty limit, press seven. Creepy bastard. For splendor in the ass, press eight. For the right, press nine. Hello, we're the cast of Jackass. I'm Johnny Knoxville. Chris Pontius. Bam Margera. We man. Preston Lacey. Steve O. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're uh, here to welcome you to Movie Phones Unscripted. Uh, we also want to talk about our new film, Jackass Number 2. We'll be asking each other some of your questions and some of our own. Thank God this first question goes to you, Mr. O. Uh, from Chuck in Orlando, Florida. In Orlando, Florida. <laughs> What's bigger and better about Jackass Number 2, O? Um, well, I mean, our businesses didn't get that much bigger from the first to the second movie, but our stunts are just outrageous now. I mean, yeah. it's a much better movie. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Woo! You can say that on AOL, right? Yeah, you can say They it. love that shit. <laughs> Sweet. It's unscripted. <laughs> and from Jackie in Phoenix, Arizona, who sustained the worst injury while shooting Jackass number two? I actually think that was Steve O, and it never even made it to the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when John Waters you... pushed him down with the bell cart. You fractured your back? He was something? out for like two ah, months or something. Yeah, I had deep tissue bruising in my back. Deep tissue <laughs> bruising? <laughs> Oh my god, it was so funny with the day when Knoxville was sort of posing the, the question to himself as if he was a reporter. What, what were the worst injuries? We had a hurt back, a hurt pinky, and two cries. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good one. Where what are we in St. Petersburg? What the hell happened to Preston's hair? What do you mean? <laughs> Look at that. No, Bam put an air in my hair in Australia, and it's starting to come back nicely now. <laughs> yeah, real nice. I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> All right, this is from Sydney in Los Angeles, California. Preston, is there anything your fans would be surprised to learn about you? I guess the fans would probably be interested to learn about my love of model trains. Yes. Right. And the far Steve, I guess, they'd like to know he likes to read to children. Yeah. He's a really caring person. People like his nickname is really Sweeto. Uh, Johnny Knox, he's actually, he's actually a terrible, terrible person. Yeah. He's more of a burden on society than anything. But I'm usually holding. <laughs> Chris has a house in Hawaii, so we're all nice to him. Because that pays off a vacation time. Bam there, he's just a kid with a Lamborghini and a dream. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you know, I, somebody asks Bam a question about his Lamborghini, and Bam says, which one? Most <laughs> <laughs> people don't know Weed Man has a talent. It's the, uh, he can go d style, but stand up. He doesn't have to go on his knees. Yeah. It's his favorite position. It's his favorite position. It is. How, how's it look, Wee Man? I mean, can you? <laughs> wait, I forgot this part. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie from New York City wants to know, Johnny, do you look at yourselves as role models? Um, I, well, if, if maybe we're the before pictures in uh, Narcotics Anonymous, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's about as far as we get as role models. I mean, I saw that car and all I saw was the word model and... <laughs> I mean, we are pretty good looking guys. <laughs> so the answer's gonna have to be yes, we are role models. If each of you were granted individual superpowers, what would they be? What would your superhero names be? My superpower would probably be flying so I could avoid this damn Los Angeles traffic. What would your superhero name be? Bam Bam. Super Bam. Super Bam Bam, dude. Mine would be the fantastic horror. Oh That's pretty God. good. I think I'd be ultra rad mega dude. I'd be repo wee man. <laughs> what would you do? Like repossess cars? Oh, of course. 
Starting with the Lamborghini? <laughs> Starting with the Lamborghini, dude. Bat Bam. Bat Bam. <laughs> what would yours be, Preston? What is the question? Superhero. Your superhero name and power. Uh, I don't know. Running. John. <laughs> It'll be good for Bam at about two in the morning. That is. Fresh has got to carry his ass. We're in Sydney and uh, Bam's like, I got kicked out of the bar last night. Steve was like, Nah, dude, you got carried out of the bar. <laughs> I'd be able, to, I'd be able to see through people's clothing and stare at Chris's p all day long. <laughs> I feel really unaccountable for anything I say on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Just on the internet. <laughs> Who of the group has the largest criminal record? <laughs> I don't know, it'd be between you and Pontius? Yeah, my criminal record is lengthy, but it's of a garden variety. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I, I officially have a criminal record now after that brass knuckle stunt. Before that, I was clean. I, I, I beat all my felony charges. <laughs> I've, gotten, uh, I've, gotten out of, uh, I've gotten out of a lot of my crimes for insanity. Oh, nice. They take you to the mental hospital instead of the. I jail. was there. I was there. And, you know, then they took me to the psych ward. They always take me to the psych ward. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, fam. George from Pasadena, California, would like to know: Does anything actually make your parents mad? Well, everything pretty much makes them mad, but they know that there's nothing they can do about it. I mean, eventually, it, it'll things will sort of get fixed. I mean. You know, I mean, that's just the way it goes. It's, it's been like that, and, you know, Ape will be mad, and then she'll realize in a month it'll probably be fixed, and then they just wind up getting over it. But they'll <laughs> never actually do anything about it. I mean, come on. I mean, it's kind of like, as long as, as long as the damage that you create, you know, costs less than the money that you make, then you're still making money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do whatever the f*** you want. Do <laughs> you have a favorite of your parents? Which one do you like the most? Well... Ape will talk my ear off when she calls, so I sort of ignore her calls sometimes. But uh, when Phil calls, it's probably something business-related that I really need to take care of. So uh, right now, I'll favor Phil, but it'll probably change, you know, in a week or so. So your dad was a, a, a pie baker, and now he's your money manager. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. My, <laughs> my, my dad does my <laughs> too, man. That speaks volumes. I'm, I'm getting hammered by corrections and precious metals and natural resources right now, but I'm still up 15% on the year. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. People probably want to know that shit too, man. Probably a good time to wrap this up. So thank you for watching us on Movie Phones Unscripted, and please go see our movie, Jackass Number 2. Yeah, dude. What did, what did Steve-O say to you when you broke in his room in Sydney? Bam, credit card, credit card, bam. <laughs> <laughs> My room, bam. Credit card, bam. Oh my god. He's right. After oh he just flattens, he'll be like, credit card, bam. Room, bam. Mine. My room. Credit card, bam. <laughs>